Hi there, we are EK Isaacs. I'm Emily Harrop Smith. And who are you? Isaac. This is Isaac. Um, together we make the up the EK Isaacs pen name. Um, who are we? Um, we are a mother and son who live in South Auckland. Who is the mother? Me. <laughs> <laughs> you. We both write. Um, and Isaac wanted to let you know we are both humans. Thank you for that, Isaac. We're not aliens. No, we're not aliens, although we do write adventure stories about a space pirate cat. Um, these are the two books we have written so far. Um, and we have a writing tip for you today. Tips. Tip. Well, it's a tip, a variation of theme. So revision. Revision is important. It's much more than fixing typos. Revision is re and vision. It gives you a chance to see your story differently. You can give yourself some time before you revise your work if you can. So put your story away for a while, bring it out, see it with fresh eyes. And think about everything again. Can you add more conflict? Can you make your dialogue uh, more better, snappier? Are there ways you can make the beginning and your end of your story connect? Um, is there punctuation you need to add, like the um, question mark I should have added at the end of that sentence? Uh, and you can use technology to help you revise. Um, Pro Writing Aid and Grammarly both have free versions, and there's another helpful website called Hemingway App, which can let you know if you're writing at the right kind of level. You're not using too complicated a sem sentences. Um, using a text-to-voice website to read out your words um, is also really good, so you can hear them. Oh, sorry, I was boring Isaac there. So um, we have a writing task for you. Do you want to tell, tell about the writing task, Isaac? Write about a crime from a non-human animal's point of view. We have a naked mole rat here. Quite beautiful. Hope yep, you choose so, that. So you could do a naked mole rat witnessing a kidnapping. You could do a cat witnessing a murder, a rhinoceros witnessing a bank robbery. It's really up to you. And we look forward to maybe reading some of these stories.